Hey, welcome to the show. Today on the show, we are going to be subtracting whoa, a 12 digit number by another 12 digit number. This has to be the biggest number I've ever subtracted on this show. Maybe my entire life. Hey, if you want to try this on your own, write it on a piece of paper. Hit that pause button right now. Write it on a piece of paper. And then when you're ready to check it with me, hit the play button. All right. Um, where, where do we begin? We have to go way over here and start over in the ones right here. This is the ones, the tens, the hundreds, thousands, and so on. Um, but we're going to start way over here on the ones. And then just... Take it slow, easy, cheesy, lemon squeezy. <laughs> all right. So first of all, four minus two. What is four minus two? You got it, a two. So I'm gonna go ahead and put two right here. And like I said, don't get scared at this gigantic number right here. We're just taking it step by step. What do we got here? We got three minus five. What is three minus five? No, it's not two. That would mean I would have three cookies and you want to take five away. It's not going to happen. I need to make that number bigger. How do I make it bigger? You got to go next door. Can I borrow some cookies? Sure. So I need to borrow over here. So I'd take one from the seven, make that a six, and this will be 13. What is 13 minus five? Eight, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So I put eight right here. Eight is sometimes late. Have you ever seen that? But eight is great. And now I'm gonna do six minus seven. Can't do it, can I? Need to make that number bigger. Need to borrow from the six over here. This will be a five. This turns into 16. What I'm doing is I'm actually taking a 10 over here and putting it onto that number. So that six turns into 16. 16 minus seven, what is it? That's right, a nine. So I put nine right there. Now I'm gonna work with this number here. Five minus four, Whew, I'm so glad I don't have to do any regrouping on that one. Got five cookies, you wanna take four away? You're leaving me with just one? Oh, you know what? I'm getting hungry talking about cookies. Anyway, let's get back to the math problem. Five minus four is one, uno. All right, so now I got four minus six. Need to borrow, don't I? So I need to go next door. Whoa, that cookie jar is empty. There's nothing there, not a zip. All right, let's go next door. Whoa. Again, nothing's over here. Oh my goodness, go over here. Nothing again is over, it's empty. Now we finally found a house that has some cookies, two cookies, so I need to borrow one. So I'm borrowing from the two right there. This is a one. Now, what I would usually do is I would, put that one to 10 and I would put it over here and that's that would be 10. But I need to borrow one over here to add it onto this here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cross this off right here and this is a nine. Get to put across a little slash right here, that's gonna be a nine. And then I'm gonna put a little slash right here and that's gonna be a nine. And now I can finally bring that cookie home over here and this is 14. 14 minus six, what is it? Eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So I'm gonna put my eight right here. And now I can go and start subtracting all over again. Nine minus two, seven. Put the seven right there. Nine minus eight, one. Nine minus seven, two, a two D tattoo. Here we put the two, dos in Spanish. One minus six, five, Got to borrow again, don't we? You thought I had, you thought it was easy, didn't you? No, got to borrow. We need to make that number bigger. Take one from the seven, make that a six. Now I got a six, uh, 11. 11 minus six is five. Now remember, you always have to have that number on the top bigger, all right? So if it's not big, you need to borrow from next door. Six minus four, it's bigger than four, isn't it? Six is bigger than four. I don't need to borrow. Six minus four, two. Dos in Spanish. Two. Eight minus two. I don't know about you, but I'm breathing a little better now because I don't have to do a lot of more, any more regrouping. Eight minus two, six. And then I got three minus two. We're done, aren't we? Three minus, not three minus two, three minus one. It's been a long day, especially with this gigantic problem. Three minus one is two. Let's go ahead and put some commas in here. I like to always put commas in after every three numbers. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Wow. 
Oh my goodness. That was kind of fun, wasn't it? I hope you had fun. Leave a comment down below. What did you think about that? Would you like to see some more gigantic numbers like this? Hey, check out the other videos on this uh, show. It is getting close to 100,000 subscribers. Woohoo! It's because of you guys. Thank you very much for your support. Also, can you check out this link right there? That's to my new channel called Dinomath. Um, it, it's so much fun. We're having a lot of fun on that channel. Everything is related to dinosaurs, mathematics. We got Beyblade X's. Just having so much fun uh, just playing over there and just, yeah, just great time. Sure appreciate it. Go over there, hit that subscribe button. That'll help me out so I can grow that channel too. I hope you're getting outside and having a fun day. We'll talk to you later. Adios. Goodbye.